Hey guys, welcome back. Um, before we get started, I'd like to tell you guys about uh, my other videos. I've got a whole playlist, 11 other videos, but most of them are OpenAI Gym and other reinforcement learning frameworks. Those ones are more in depth in a different framework than OpenSpill. I have a similar video with OpenAI Gym where we actually train an RL agent to uh, win the game of blackjack. This one is poker and this one is open spiel. Now anyways guys, let's get started. And there are other games you guys can read documentation and find them. However, uh, we're gonna do uh, poker. As you know, poker is all about probability. Anyways guys, this is how you guys install it and import these libraries these ones right here there's the game where we uh, load it into this environment with PySpiel just like with OpenAI Gym but there's no environment and render function that's why I'm not going to visualize the game because there's no render function for PySpiel you know you can't do game render Therefore, I couldn't visualize it like I do in my other videos. See those other videos where we see the RL agents, you know, play the game. There's even one where I get them to record. And guys, one more thing. Um, if you guys are new to reinforcement learning, it's a program within a program, which is the RL agent, which we penalize them and reward them in those environments. You know, we penalize and reward them. Or well, there's different methods. There's deep Q learning. There's Markov's decision process. Most of them, the method is setting a policy, or penalization and rewarding. A policy is more restricted. Right here, guys, we're not going to actually. Um, we're just going to do probability and setting a policy. Anyways, guys, um, the state is where he's at. So we're going to print the state. There's no policy. And then there's the action, of course. So we're not going to fully train him. We're going to partially. We're going to be setting a policy. Meaning we're... Anyways, guys, look how bad he did. Game over that quick. As you can see, guys, uh, in blackjack, which is different, uh, you're trying to get closer to 21 than the dealer or get 21 itself, blackjack. Poker's different, and there's many types of poker, obviously. Okay, so the policy, we're going to load it in the tabular policy function. Most of this is already uh, somewhat preset with the policy lib. The state and probability. Let's look at it now. We're going to print it with the def function. Okay, print exploitability Nash conf. As you can see, not bad, 91%. But the problem is, it's a 50 50 thing, you know? So when it's a 50 50 chance, uh, you might want to gamble a little better. You know, when it's all across the board like this, which is what we're about to do. There's the probability insight, 50%. We really didn't need to visualize this with matplotlib, but however, we did anyways. Okay, the depth function with new reach, where we're actually going to give him options. The action probability, return new. And then the calculate with the reach and the state. As you can see, the state returns. There's an elif function. Return the sum. Negative one probability for action and probability of state incomes. Else, that's where we get to the little else part. The state and current player on the index. And then the NP zeros. So remember guys, uh, NumPy is scientific computing, which we use in machine learning. And the NP argmax is the greedy function in, in uh, reinforcement learning. It's also used to compute scientific uh, 
I mean class labels, you know, in deep learning. And used to compete the threshold with NP argmin for predictions and cross validation. You know. See my other SageMaker video where we did that. Anyways, guys, um, for action and state and legal actions, regrets, value is the player, value. And then, guys, as you can see, this, this is all about probability and calculating. For the policy, the initial state, MP zeros, the policy action probability array. And then the range of 129. However, guys, you guys can increase that if you want. MP1s, the number of game players, because it's ones, one digit. MP sum, because we got to calculate. Okay, the floored regrets and sum floored regrets. And we're going to use linear probability. And then the little boolean logic for the update the current policy if step is equal to zero you see because we got to keep them going okay when he's at step zero as you can see he goes uh, down and then down to 128 three percent the exploitability yeah, the longer it goes on, as you can see, drastically, especially after step eight, the more things can uh, change dramatically the longer the game goes on. The probability. Okay. And then right here, we're going to, because we're um, doing a policy lookup, as you can see, uh, we're going to, print each policy and then the alpha the action probability array let's skip down there as you can see when you bet with a jack 14 percent chance bet with a king hmm, bet with a queen your chances are pretty much even now guys i would say that's a pretty good policy right and uh, if you guys, guys, feel free to edit any of what I did and improve it, you know? Feel free. Also, guys, I'd like to let you know, um, I'm going to continue my channel, and uh, I'd like it if you guys would uh, share my videos. See my other reinforcement learning playlist. There's probably something you need there, but as most of it's with OpenAI Gym. Also, guys, a lot of it is visualized with Matplotlib. The whole uh, episode is recorded. Um, because this is not open AI gems, so there's no render function. And guys, um, check out my MLOps videos if you guys are interested in uh, MLOps with SageMaker pipelines. See those. See uh, some of my SageMaker deployments. I guarantee if you're on my channel right now, there's something else you need. Um, like I told you guys, um, there's another gambling video I got with Blackjack. See that playlist. Reinforcement learning playlist. Also guys, um, check out my... Uh, AI and ML web apps with Streamlit also. Because, guys, there's something you need. Web scraping, K-means, K-means deployments, Google Cloud deployments, Azure deployments. You name it, guys, I got it all. Now, guys, um, eventually I'm going to get back on the cloud when I got more subscribers. You know, uh, I'm going to find any other SageMaker things I haven't done already and do them. Uh, because I've got over 145 videos. Therefore, 
if you're on my channel now, there's probably something you need. I'm going to do image processing on one of the future, um, one of the future videos. And guys, uh, remember guys, see documentation. If you guys want to play another game and tweak the policy, you guys can do that as well. Change that right there. You guys can also read documentation and tweak the policy a lot more than you want. Remember guys, open spill. And remember how to install it? Right here. Anyways guys, I hope you like my videos. Stay tuned. If you're new for the first time, subscribe if you liked it. If you subscribed already and watching, thank you for being a loyal viewer. Anyways guys, take care. Bye.